Yes. Running around. <laughs> Gee, you can you will not sit down. <laughs> like from second year, we've been attending seven o'clock classes. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the Studentship YouTube channel. Today I'm here live at the University of Nigeria. I'll be going around asking students, you know, information about their course of study. I can show you that you are going to find this video helpful. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. Good evening, what's your name, department and level? Alright, my name is Simanga Uchechi. Augusta, 411, Trishan and Dietetics. Good evening, Trishan Dietetics. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, what about you? My name is Chidalu, 411, Nutrition and Dietetics student. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what studying Nutrition and Dietetics is all about? Like, what is the course all about in the university? Okay, um, it's actually a lot. Like, it encompasses a whole lot. But, like, let me just break it down. Mm -hmm. um, it involves biology, biochemistry, okay. and then nutrition as an aspect, but it's actually very broad. It can be both curative and preventive. Okay. And I think that's like the basic breakdown, then if you now come in, it goes in way deeper than just this dimension. But like basically, this is how you can categorize it. Okay, on the surface? Yes, on the surface. Okay. Uh, why did you decide to study nutrition and dietetics? Food. To begin with. Okay, is that you like? <laughs> yes. Well, not only basically because I like food, but then the the interesting thing is food can actually do a whole lot of things and what people think is just about eating. Okay. Food also entails one's general well being. Instead of just taking medicine, you can actually take food. Yeah. Good food That's instead. Yes. It can help also in one's lifestyle. Okay. Because through the various um, meals we plan and we modify to for various patients, there's this sort of vibe that comes from it. Okay, okay. Yes. I, I guess there's this misconception about nutrition and dietetics. Because many, many people would think that it's just about maybe cooking food or something like that. Is there any misconception about that? That's a very, very big misconception. Like basically, when people just see you, they're like ketchup food and all that. Mm. That's very annoying because like. I think like the minimum thing we do is actually cooking because mm -hmm. nutrition like nutrition as a cause is majorly like let me say let me not just call it medical but like is more related to health wise uh, yeah, solutions. Yes, like yes, yes. it's not really about food. Okay, it's about food but not like particularly about cooking. food. Yeah, not just cooking, mm. though we cook but not like that's the aim of the cause. Like we try to relate um the nutrition content of food okay. to um, to human health, okay. like um, to help you manage certain disease conditions, or to even help you just live a better life, a healthy life. So when people just say nutrition, they just say food. It's not actually food, oh, but then nutrients, like the relationship between what you mm. eat and your health, that's what nutrition. Is. I think it, what you take in actually affects. Yes, that's the saying. What we are, uh, we are what we eat, or so yeah, something yeah, like what that. We, yeah. What so what does it take to study nutrition? And that that is, is, is it that you have to be very intelligent or an average student can study the course? What does it take as a foreign level student? What has been your experience? Um, you have to have the right attitude first to the course because just like you said earlier, there are certain misconceptions towards the course. Most people just see it and they're like, okay, all they do is to cook. I can do this at random at home. But no, it actually takes a lot because the course involves a lot of things. It involves mathematics. It involves chemistry. It involves proportion in everything. So it's, it's more than just about cooking so yes you do have to be intelligent but you also have to have the right attitude to it um the good thing about the course is that it's vast it's not it's not narrowed down to just one aspect because we deal with both infants pregnant women adolescents the elderly and the major thing that brings all these groups together is food okay. and eating healthy equals to having a healthy life. A healthy yes. It's a four years course, right? Yes, it's a four years okay. course. Five years course. Is there any special reason 
Because the course is bulky, it's like bulky. four years is very small. Okay. Because like second year and third year, I think so. We have like 24 unit loads, and there's really no time. With this, right. yeah. There's no time for you to study and actually practicalize the course because it's more of a practical course. So I think the idea of making it to five years is a very beautiful one because it's going to give students more opportunities. Yeah, it's so, cool. yeah. Is there is there a council that regulates the profession? Yeah, we have Nutrition Society of Nigeria okay, that okay. regulates. Okay. So. How lucrative is nutrition and detectives in Nigeria? Mm, well, in Nigeria, it's actually an upcoming course, per se. But then, if you are able to be very grounded, it's a very, very lucrative course in the sense that you can actually practice on your own. I mean, nutrition has a lot of areas. You can decide to be a sports nutritionist, you can decide to be a pediatric nutritionist, and that's money. So, yeah. you can actually like open up your own private practice, private practice and uh, that kind of a thing, or work in an established government, whatever, or even going to sports. I think that's the one that actually pays more. Wow. Like, I'm actually looking into that. <laughs> <laughs> You guys do anything like inspection, like no food and stuff like that? Inspection? Mm. Like what do you mean? Like let's say a abattoir, like where foods are being prepared, like do you guys go there for any kind of like inspection? Inspections. To make sure that okay, this environment is fit, I'm just trying to... Um, well, no, no. I don't think we do as of now. There's none that I know of. Okay, okay. But I think that's because of time. Because I think yes. in other schools they actually do. But because of we don't really have time okay. in this school, so we don't. So from f you're in fourth year, right? Yeah. So do you guys go for posting? Is there any particular experience at what stage? Yes, in our 300 level, we go for industrial training, okay. and we do six months industrial training, three months in a hospital. You work in close relation with the dietitians, the registered dietitians. There you learn how to plan meals itself for various disease condition it, then the remaining three months we also have um, hotel experience this is in terms of like also um, expanding your knowledge in other kinds of dishes both intercontinental and continental dishes okay. and um, it also helps like the IT is also a way to like improve in our communication skills with okay. patients and how to communicate with both the patients and people in general yes Okay. Uh, have you had any memorable experience so far? Maybe any challenge? Why? <laughs> How challenging is the course? <laughs> um, okay. Well, I don't even know how to put this, but because of UN, the, okay. UN is a very difficult school. Okay. So it's actually very challenging. And with the fact that most of our lecturers are, let me just say, 100% strict. Like, okay. if you don't make up to 75% attendance, you can't write exams. So a lot. So in school, in here, like studying here requires a lot. Patience, time, we have to be serious. So I think that's like the basic challenge is that if you want to be a serious student in the department, like, you have to deprive yourself of. Like, a lot of, yeah, all those extra curricula. But aside from that, I think it's a fun course. Like, it's really very, very good. It's a very nice course, though it was not mine. Yes. Exactly. Okay. But then, I mean, if you get to start learning, you actually, like, enjoy the course. So okay, okay. it's very cool. Okay. So how would you describe the typical day of a student, a nutrition and dietetic student? Running around. <laughs> Gee, you can you will not sit down. <laughs> like, from second year, we've been attending 7 o'clock classes. <laughs> 7 a.m. And, yeah, 7 a.m. classes. And, but mm -hmm. then, at the end of the day, I think it's all worth it because as like in the classes, it's most times not always like the basic, except for like in our second year when we have to do all this biochemistry and um, the anatomy aspect. Okay. But then from the 300 level to final year, it's more of interacting. Like there are so many things, we are relatable things. But then on a normal day, you cannot rest. You're running for files, <laughs> file arrangements. <laughs> you're running for classes. <laughs> you are, you're praying for practicals. Wow. <laughs> and you cannot go a day. You can't even come here without wearing this uniform. <laughs> Uniform. <laughs> so, so it's actually quite challenging. But then, if you ask me, I feel that the knowledge you get at the end of the day, it wasn't also my first choice. Okay. But then, so far, I don't have any regrets like okay. changing into the department. Although it's still tasking, but then, do I have regrets? Not so much. So from what you described so far, is it possible for students in your department to, you know, indulge in ciders, you know, other extracurricular activities? Of course, it's very much possible. I've, I've always run, a, I've been running a business since my 100 level, so wow. 
But then um, I kind of give the post now in final year because projects and all of that. So, of course, you can't. No negative impacts on, on your academics? Well, no, no, no. It's definitely going, it's not going to have negative impacts. The most important thing is understanding your priority okay. and setting it right and then being able to manage your time. I think that's the most important thing for anybody in life. It doesn't really matter where you're studying, but that's the most important thing. So, that's just it. So, you can, if you put your mind to it and you actually decide to. All right, thank you very much. So lastly, uh, what advice do you have for a student that wants to study nutrition and dietetics at the university? Uh, my, my honest advice to, do, uh, to students that want to study the course is that it's tasking quite all right, but okay. then the, the knowledge we get at the end of the day covers up for the stress. Because if you if you know what you want to benefit from the course, I mean, we have really nice lecturers. That's what I'll tell you. They they are strict, like you said earlier. But then they are rooted in the course. They will teach you what you have to know. Even something that is not even in the scheme of work itself, they expose you because they've had these experiences too. So they expose. So I would advise anybody that wants to study the course. It's actually a very nice course, so yeah, you can go for it. All right, thank you very much. Uh, any advice? Uh, okay, I think she has said it all, but then let me just add in a few things. Like, if you actually want to do the course and you want to excel, mm. you have to like take it very serious. Like, starting from 100 level, don't miss lectures. Read, like, read as crazy as you can, because <laughs> just like you said, the course is vast, so obviously the lecturer can't give you everything. So you just have to read. I read, I read, I read, like just, just keep reading like you want to run mad. <laughs> <No. laughs> okay, do you guys have like any reading strategy, study strategy, maybe nine class, something like that? Yeah. To cope with the whole... Yes, we do have, but then most times because of the the timetable or our schedule per day, yeah. there might not really be time in between during the day to read but then people do form reading groups okay. in amongst us and they still have night class in our classes okay. so that too helps um, aside that i think yes yeah, that's what people do all right thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much i appreciate it.